I just watched a trailer for Peter Pan and Wendy, and the law requires that I am not allowed to swear for the first 30 seconds of a video. We are adults. These are the words that we use to express frustration, rage, anger. I know this show is gonna be terrible because they led with virtue signals. When you don't lead with a story or characters, it's because you don't have any. Let's just start by saying Disney no longer has any ideas whatsoever. They are just a shambling amalgam of recycled material, basic TV tropes, and political activism. It's like a Twitter golem brought to life by dark, chronically online magic. All right, so this trailer, first of all, it is another live action retelling of their old material because a multi-billion dollar company apparently cannot hire writers with enough talent to come up with a single new idea. Now, I've said in the past, Disney is in the business of selling nostalgia, but nostalgia is a feeling. It's not reheated fucking leftovers. These new tellings don't add anything to the story. As a matter of fact, they make it worse by the subtraction of the whimsy of animation and the addition of modern, modern sensibilities, sensibilities, which we are getting to. They also can't even come up with a new or good way to tell stories. From the trailer, this looks like it's going to be a darker, actionier story. Seriously, I thought we were done with the gritty reboots. Wasn't, like, everything's a gritty origin? Wasn't that, like, a tired joke years ago? Disney seems like they just have a giant Mad Libs board that they use to make their shows. All right, everybody listen up. Bob wants a new show. You guys know the drill. Let's do this. Somebody give me an old property. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Absolutely. I love that. Okay, I need a tropey movie style. Gritty origin story. Gritty reboot. Oh, God, that's a good one there. Okay, I want a trending hashtag from somebody. Girl boss. Girl boss. Slay. Yes. Okay. Uh, another hashtag. BLM. Gender fluid. Gender fluid. Oh, yeah. That's a good one there. Okay. Mm, I need a non-white race. How about black? Black. God, yeah. They eat up everything we throw at them, don't they? Okay. Here we go. Listen up. We're going to be telling Peter Pan in a gritty reboot origin story. Wendy is a girl boss, so I want her in the title. I also want to see her in a sword fight. She's a young girl, and I want to see her push the swords off of two grown men pirates, okay? Uh, the Lost Boys now are gender fluid. Really make sure we slap the audience in the face with that one, guys. I want to see that in the first couple of seconds of the trailer, okay? Um, Tinkerbell is black now. Thank you for that suggestion. And you know what, guys? I'm on a roll, so um, I want Hook to be hella gay. Peter has always looked a little twinky to me, so I want to see like a sexual tension rivalry going on there, okay? Let's do this. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, everything I just said, except for the Hook and Peter being gay part, is real. Disney doesn't know how to make interesting stories anymore. They they really think political stuff is interesting, but it isn't. You know what? That's not even true, because if you can come up with something thought-provoking, that's good. Just making basic, politically charged observations, that is not thought-provoking. Your skin color, what you label yourself as, who you bone, these do not make you interesting in any way. Bone! Seconds into this trailer, they might as well have winked at the camera when Wendy points out But you're not old boys, so? This is likely a kids or family show, so if you're still unclear about what Disney's intentions are with the youth, here you go. We've got Black Tinkerbell because Disney still thinks that race swaps are profound. Iridessa is a character that already exists. She is a black fairy, an original character. Black Tinkerbell continues the Hollywood tradition of telling us that existing white characters are superior to original black characters. Why else would it be important to change the white ones? And yes, Wendy is going to be the strong heroine of the story. In the trailer, we do see her fighting off a pair of grown men in a sword fight. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, Wendy used to embody the power of femininity, maternally commanding respect from the dirty, feral, lost boys. Again, remaking your female characters as masculine only sends the signal that masculinity is somehow superior. If it wasn't, feminists wouldn't want to be us so badly, right? Fuck is hate us because they ain't us. I was joking about the Hook Peter thing, but somebody is definitely going to be gay. Personally, my money is on Wendy and Tiger Lily. Both of these characters had a thing for Peter in the past, and for some reason, these new writers seem to get some weird kick out of insulting old characters. So, uh, yeah, uh, story and character development are definitely going to take center stage on this one. This show will definitely not feel like it was made by a panel of editors from Vox and BuzzFeed. Good game, Disney.